hello everyone so i'll be giving some hello everyone i'll be giving some angular interview question which is asked me in my previous uh, interview experiences so i'll be sharing some of those today so this will be the part one so few of the questions are i'll be sharing today those are considered as a part one so i'll be releasing another video for the part two which are i'm not able to include in this video okay so basically i have been considering 20 questions in this uh, video and you are going to be so let's get started so first question is that what are the life cycle method in the angular so you just tell me you can just consider the angular methods whatever you know about it and as per your experience you should explain those as well so basically we have a couple of methods inside the angular so which are automatically get executed whenever your component get loaded so you can mention those are things and some of the contribution also be going to be asked as a, in why cons constructor get trigger first because of and why uh, ng on in it is used in the angular so this question can be asked as a cross inter question for the life cycle method and uh, another question is that uh, angular is a single page application so they will asking you how to navigate into the multiple pro pages inside the angular so what is the need of a routing so according to your experience they will ask you the few question in the deep so you should able to answer that so as per your experience you can consider an uh, example just create an example and just tell them so these are the steps i need to be followed to create an angular routing and what uh, what is the model also you need to explain over there so another question is that the what are the types of pipes so usually they will ask you the related to the custom pipes how can we create a custom pipe then what are the pre-built pipes and what is the use of those so you should explain well those are and then uh, we have a fourth question like the way they asked us to uh, how to format the date whatever you have given so suppose you are getting a date with the mmdd yy with the time span as well so you need just date date mm and yy so in that case they will ask you how to format that so write the syntax so you just check on the angular io website so we have a couple of uh, format method over their dates so we can use those uh yeah so next question is that how can we create a custom pipe so you should tell them how to generate first pipe to once you create a pipe then how can you use that pipe in the in your component so for that we have couple of steps to include our pipes to the angular project so you should know those are so how can we do that and before going to explain the further so you should check the custom pipes uh, file as well so what are the things over there automatically get generated while you are creating a pipe so these things also going to be asked as a counter question so we'll move the next question slide so yeah so next is that what is the use of the router outlet so basically they are trying to ask you uh, if i remove the router outlet then what will happen so is that the navigation will work for us or not so this is kind of the counter question so again we have the another question as a multiple router outlet so this is gonna be asked as a uh, suppose you have a uh, two three modules and they will ask you how can i module uh, how can create a router outlet according to the module or something so we have a couple of methods so with it we can do that so you should aware about it so we can use like that so we have a parameter inside the router over there with a name or something that we need to pass so because of that we are able to uh, add a rou multiple router outlet so this is one of the another question they will ask you and then another question is related to the view child so basically they will try to ask you when we use a view child and what is the need of it so just explain the what is the view child and what what gonna happen with the view child then the basic question is that the what is different between observable and promise so this question comes every in the almost in every interview so they are trying to ask you what is the basic difference between both so and another thing if i use a promise instead of observable then what gonna happen then if i want to convert observable to promise then how can we do that if i have promise then i want to convert to observable so how can i do that so this question gonna ask like that so next question is a uh, what is the use of template so if we see that whenever we are creating our component so we get a template reference over there template reference file so what is the use of that file so they will ask you if i write a directly html inside the component then what will happen and how to use that so this is gonna ask you another questions so we'll move to the next slide uh yeah so next question is related to the share module so what is the use of the shared module and how can we implement that and how can we integrate our share module into the multiple uh, components. So this is another question. So 
uh, it will consider uh, this question will consider as a counter questions as well too many so according to the your architecture they will ask you the questions so they will give you some architecture level of the kind of the question and you just tell them so what gonna i do on this case they will give you some case to you then what is the use of provider in angular so uh, you might aware about the whenever you are creating a service we need to pass that service as a root level into the ng module so they will ask you as a counter question suppose i created a service and i have included into the component as well and in the ng module as well so in that case uh, how many instances will be created over there for that your service so if you are not adding that uh, in the component level then what going to happen how many instances will be created so this going to type of question counter questions will be over there so yeah so another question is related to the constructor what says on in it which i have been discussed in the first slide so you are able to answer that so because of the we are using the typescript as a class in certain angular so constructor get trigger first because of it is uh, it is the class method so yeah and uh, the while talking about the difference between ng on init so we inject whatever services dependencies for our application into the constructor and while talking about the ng on init it it is make sure us to the angular getting started now the component um, life cycle will be getting started now the whatever value bound properties you have you will be uh, assigning those value into the ng on init uh, suppose you want to make a api call so we can try from there so this is going to the counter question they will ask you then another question so suppose you have one back end url they will give you some back end url they will ask you to get data from the back end and uh, show in that table or ali anywhere kind of thing so in that case they will try to find you like that so uh, what is your approach first of all then they will ask you how to get data from the back end then they will ask you what module you going to uh, used for your application then what dependencies you need so such kind of question they will ask first you then uh, you are creating the observable then you need to subscribe as well so this kind of question they will ask so instead of subscribing directly into the component level so how can you directly use a sync pipe over there so this going to counter question for you so the yeah. so next question is related to the data binding so how many ways we have data binding so like the property binding interpolation then event binding these are some common bindings we have so they will going to ask you how to set properties for the src with a property binding or something so you can prepare kind of those questions then uh, yeah so the most important question is the dependency injection and angular how handles it basically so while creating our service we have dependency injection and uh, it is going to trigger first and we have the injectable over there so it allow us to use that service at the any kind of the component level so this going to question asked in every interview question basically so you should prepare according to that then what is the lazy loading and how can we achieve it so it is kind of the performance related question in the angular so you should tell them so how can we create a lazy loading module so what is, first of all the you need to give the uh, <clears throat> you need to give first the command for it how to create a module then how gonna you include that module inside your routing then how it will work basically we call as a with the dot then module so basically you should tell them how can we load that and what is the use of it so basically another question they will ask you so while creating a lazy loading module so it is going to add to your bundle or not so this is the counter question for you as per your experience so then they will ask you suppose i clicked on the i have created a lazy loading module and if i click on one one link then that module getting loaded so what will happen then if i clicked on the multiple modules so is it going to load one by one or how it will happen so this is going to the counter question and more also are over there so then the content projection is also going to be asked many times so content projection is nothing but we are passing some static html data to your component level without the input output so this is going to used and you should try to ex try to solve some examples into the stack list so you are going to be aware about it so how can i do that so and the most important question is how to pass data between components so this is the question is almost every interviewer ask you so you can prepare up according to that so we have multiple ways to do that suppose you have parent child then we use input output then if you have sibling components then we use subject with a service and once you say subject they will ask you what are the type of subject then you should tell them behavioral subject 
asking subject replace subject then they will ask you again what is the difference between all so you should prepare those all as well so another one is that uh, to while communicating between different components we have a uh, ngrx as well so if the application is more and your component services are interlinked basically into each one at that time we used to prefer ngrx but your application is simple some components are using the different different services those are not interlinked on that case we can use the subject instead of going to ngrx because it will make a performance issue for us so this gonna the counter questions for the data passing between components so last question i will be covering for this in in, in this video is that uh, what is different between first of all they ask you the what is directive okay and what are the types of directive we have then the last then another question they will ask you attribute directive and the structural directive what is the difference between both so you should tell them the first of all you have component directive structural directive and behavioral directive so the structural directive is nothing but that uh, we use ng ng4 ng switch kind of thing so that's what are the uh, attributes we use at the element level those are the structural directive because we are updating the dom up according to our needs so these are the structural directive and the component also kind of the one directive that is kind of the special directive so it has its own template but basically structural and attribute directive we don't have anything like that so this counter question they will ask you so what is difference between attribute attribute directive and the structural directive so attribute directive is nothing but we have to use we event listener then we have to use host binding host listener so they will ask you again so what is difference between both how can we achieve it how to add a directive suppose i have one button and i want to create a directive for it to show a, a border as a red so how can you create so try to create a simple example into the stack please or in your local system so at least you will be aware about how to pass a data to the directive according to the need and how can you change the properties of the element with the attribute so with it you are able to answer the very good in that way and okay so these are the common question i have found in my previous interview experiences so those are i have been sharing with you so i have another questions of the sets as well i will be sharing in few days so just try to uh, solve this whatever question i have been shared here and uh, keep learning thank you